everyone. Today's video is a tag. Today I'll be doing the book snob book tag. It um, was originally created by Tia and all the books. I will link her channel below. She is an incredible booktuber. If you have not watched her channel, please go and check her out because she has so many great recommendations on wonderful, wonderful books. So let's just get into the questions. Question number one, adaptation snob. Do you always read the book before you see the movie? No, I don't always read the book before I see the movie because sometimes I go to a movie or I watch a movie and I didn't know it was a book. So yeah, and I think also uh, The Perks of Being a Wallflower, I actually saw the movie before I read the book, knowing it was a book. Yeah. Question two, a format snob. You can only choose one format in which to read books for the rest of your life. Which one do you choose? Physical books, ebooks, or audiobooks? No doubt I will always pick a physical book. I do like audiobooks and I've gotten into audiobooks a lot more lately, but I do struggle with ebooks. Physical books will always win that category. Question three Ship Snob Would you date or marry a non reader? Uh, yes, I've dated non readers before. So, of course, I would. Would a reader be better? Probably, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, I've dated people who've read. I've dated people who haven't read. So, yeah, answer is yes. Question four, genre snob. You have to ditch one genre never to be read again for the rest of your life. Which one do you ditch? I struggled with this question. But I'm going to say horror. And as much as I want to read horror, 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 horror um, I'm going to ditch it because I don't know what it's like. I haven't really read much of it. And, you know, I can't miss it when I haven't read it. So I'm going to do a cop out and say horror. Question five. Uber genre snob. You can only choose to read from one genre for the rest of your life. Which genre do you choose? I think I'm going to choose fantasy because most of the books I read are fantasy novels and yeah, that's what I'm going to say. There's a lot of good genres out there, but I'm going to say fantasy. Question six, community snob. Which genre do you think receives the most snobbery from the bookish community? And I'm going to say nonfiction because I don't think enough people talk about nonfiction. I know I don't read a lot of nonfiction and I really need to change that, but I don't think a lot of people talk about it. I know a few channels that do talk about it, but I don't think enough of us do. Question seven Snobbery recipient. Have you ever been snubbed for something that you have read or for reading in general? And I'm going to say no because I can't remember ever having that happen to me. I know lately a lot of people, um, when I tell them I don't have cable and that I read a lot, they're like, oh my god, that's so great. Um, but I don't think I've ever been the recipient of snobbery. Anyway, that was all the questions to this tag. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, which genre would you ditch if you had to? Please comment below. Let me know what your answer will be. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see uh, more of my content, please press the subscribe button and the bell icon, and I will see you the next time. Bye.